Okay, folks, just a quick video for, um, I just opened a ticket with Zoom to speak to their support team um, about a uh, second factor, two factor authentication bug. Um, and I'm just doing this video to quickly demonstrate because um, I guess Zoom is just getting so much usage at the moment uh, on a worldwide basis because of coronavirus and it's in the news continuously because of the uh, Zoom bombing, uh, which I discussed yesterday on my video on my screencast. And now it's on a Medium post as well, so check out that. Um, but just quickly to, to firstly show people that there is two-factor authentication. Now, I recently upgraded to a pro account, so I'm not sure if it's uh, exclusively uh, a premium feature. If it is, then it should really be available, I think, for all users because two-factor authentication is just such an important security um, thing that you know I enable it literally on every single online service I use even though it's sometimes a bit of hassle um, I use I highly recommend Authy uh, which is a uh, another one-time password generator you don't Google Authenticator is not the only one um, that you can use Authy is really excellent and uh, it's has the added benefit of having a little uh, desktop client for Linux that I can just keep open so I don't need to go back and forth to my phone every time I need to put in a one-time password so um, it's here in uh, zoom it's in a kind of a weird place it's actually nested under the advanced uh, usually you find the 2FA option in settings or in profile settings this is where they have it when I'm recording this on the 2nd of April it's the fifth option one two three four five under uh, advanced and that's under admin and then you enable sign in with two-factor authentication and uh, the QR code will appear and then you can go through the usual process of uh, adding that to your as I said your OTP one-time password uh, generator uh, so that's working nicely and I'm now uh, this account is now protected by two-factor authentication um, so I'm just going to sign out and just to demonstrate that it works, um, it's not one of these, it doesn't have the option to remember uh, a lot of services which I gen generally prefer, um, they have that option to uh, you know, remember the device, I guess it's based on an IP or on a cache or something like that. Uh, this one doesn't so every single time even though I click on stay signed in you can see it's prompting for the uh, OTP here. So that's working fine. Now this is the this is Chrome on a Linux browser, so I'm using the browser UI. Um, if I go, if I open up the uh, actual Linux Zoom client, this is the latest uh, client that they have. Um, so I am just going to uh, sign out, if I can remember where to do that. Yeah, it's over here, so I'm gonna click on log out. So I'm logged in at the moment. And if I click on uh, log out, and it's just gonna, I'm gonna bring the login dialog back here. Same situ as before. Click keep me logged in, sign in. And as you can see, um, since I enabled two factor authentication, I have not been prompted even once. Uh, so that is the bug that the desktop client for Linux uh, appears to not uh, be in sync with the uh, 2FA system. So hopefully. Hopefully Zoom will push out um, an update uh, in order that this bug can be resolved because um, I think with the amount of uh, threats to the Zoom at the moment and all that, that um, it's something that people want to stay on top of their, of their security as much as possible. So um, end video.